Hey everyone! So if you guys have ever had trouble getting your splits down or just need some tips, even if you're a runner, a cheerleader, a dancer, these tips will definitely help you get your splits down in no time. Also these tips are really great for people who get sore in their legs, behind their knees, and just like in any of the tendons in your legs. Then all these stretches are like really good for you. So if you guys have any more different stretching you want, like shoulders or the back, let me know. And even conditioning, I could do videos on that. But yeah, this is just how to get your splits down and just stuff like that. The first thing you want to do is know your good side. For me, this is my right leg is the leg that is more flexible. You'll know this by Usually if you write right-handed, your right leg is more flexible, and vice versa. If you write left-handed, then your left leg's more flexible. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is hold a pike stretch. This is a stretch that is really going to stretch under your knees, and this is really great if you feel when you're doing your splits that there's the most tightening pull under your knees. So you're going to sit in a pike, your legs completely straight, feet pointed, and you're going to reach towards your toes and tuck your head in towards your knees. Let's say that stretch isn't hard enough for you. You're just going to bend your arms or reach or flex your feet up and pull your feet towards you. And you should even be able to lift them off the ground. Okay, so the next stretch we can do to get your splits down is very simple if you only need one leg. You're going to bend one leg in kind of like Indian style, and then the other leg is going to be straight. Point your foot, reach up, reach over, make sure your hips are turned towards the leg, and then just reach towards your knee. And since I'm a little bit more flexible on this leg, I'm just going to bend my arms to make it harder. I would say hold each stretch for about a minute if you really want to work the muscles hard. And then just switch legs, turn up, over, down. Now if you're feeling tightness and pulling on this side, you're just going to take your foot, take your leg and your foot, bring your leg to like an Indian style position and your foot should be about as high as you can go on your thigh and then you're going to grab your leg and just try to hug it towards your heart and you'll really feel pulling on this side of your leg and then switch legs and make sure you're always keeping your feet pointed it just teaches you good form so just go as far as you can go you're going to reach on either side of your leg and pull towards it with your face towards your knee. Up. Over. Especially if you're a gymnast, this just keeps your form if you're stretching correctly. And reach towards the middle. Try to get your chest to the floor and keeping your head tucked in. And the last stretch I like to do in the straddle position is taking my right arm, putting it towards my opposite leg, which is my left. So my right arm to my left leg, left arm goes up and towards the right leg. And let's say the stretch isn't hard enough for you, put your head on the ground and pull towards. Up and over, opposite. Left arm towards my right leg, and my left arm and my hand are going to reach towards my, towards my left foot. So let's get into our splits. The common mistake every athlete seems to do, like flexible athlete, they seem to do a lunge in the wrong position, which is like this. This is not a lunge. First, they'll have their heel up, their knee is passed. This is wrong, you don't wanna do this at all. So this would be called my right leg split, my right leg's in front, and 
and it should be hitting a 90 degree angle. There's like an angle if there's like to here. My knee is not past my foot. It's not like this. It's just straight up and down. And my hips are pressing towards the ground. You're really going to feel stretch right here. So you're going to hold this position, have your chest in an upright position, and hold it for about 20 seconds. Take your left arm, the arm that is by your leg, and pull this towards you. And still holding that 90 degree angle. You should like make a shape of an N. And now you're gonna put your hands on either side of your leg and your face towards your knee. And then just slide down into your splits. Now the common mistake a gymnast, a dancer, or even a cheerleader makes is they turn out this bottom knee and they think they're in their splits. To make sure you are in form, like a straight line. You should do your splits on a straight line to make sure you're in a squared position. That's called squaring your hips. So make sure your knee is underneath. You should feel a pull over here too. Lift your hands up, square yourself out. You know you're wrong if you're facing this way. Even this way, you should face completely towards your leg and try to get your nose to your knee. That's how you know if your hips are square. Now let's say you want a harder stretch, lift your back leg and hold that for a little bit. All right, we're just gonna switch our legs. This is for you lefties out there. You're going to take your left leg, put it in front of you, lunge, make sure you're hitting a 90 degree angle Hold this for a few seconds. You're going to switch. This time my right arm is going to grab my right leg and pull towards. Straighten your leg and lean towards. Really make sure each arm is on either side of your leg. And then you're going to slide to your splits. Now as you can see, for these splits, I am not fully down. So what you can do is you can either lift your arms over your head, and if that hurts too much, you can either put one hand on your leg and one other hand in a fist on the floor, but hardly touching. Now doing the opposite leg, you'll feel a little bit off balance, like you won't feel squared, your hips won't feel in line, but it will slowly fix the, get like fixed the more flexible you get. Yeah, that's pretty much all the stretching tips I have for you guys. Um, Yes, they're going to hurt. If it doesn't hurt, you know you're not stretching hard enough. And plus, I think of it the more pain, the more gain. So the more it hurts, the better you're sh the stretch you're getting. Just make sure it's not hurting so bad to where you can cry because you can pull muscles. So be careful, but push yourself so you can get them down. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.